Hello and welcome to part 2 of how to fiberglass a roof. In this video we will be cutting and fitting our trims to the roof that we made earlier in preparation for bandaging and laminating which we will look at later. At the front of my roof deck here I will be fitting my first trim which will be the A170 drip trim as seen in the last video. This trim is actually cut to size and ready to fit. But before you do that with a full size trim, I recommend that you cut off a small section of both drip trim and the upstand trim. This way you can offer them into place first and get it clear in your mind how the trims will sit and work together. This could save you an expensive mistake. At the bottom right hand side, you can see I've marked the drip trim for cutting as there's a small section that needs nibbing out near the stop end at the end of the guttering. I will then do exactly the same thing for the opposite side of the drip trim. For fiberglass trim cutting, I use a nice set of sharp Gilbo tin snips wherever possible. This is because there's hardly any dust kicked up when using this method. And I'm doing exactly that here, cutting a D260 fillet trim, which we will be using later. No dust is created and the finished cut is superb. The trouble with tin snips though is that wherever you hit a curved profile it becomes impossible to cut, as you can see here. Pound for pound, the best tool these days is a multi-cutter like the one I'm using here. This one's cordless for extra convenience and if you haven't got a multi-tool, a hacksaw will do, it's just not as easy. Another way is to use an angle grinder, but that can create rather a lot of dust. Now the drip trim is cut to size, it's time to fix it into position. The first fixing method I'm going to show you is nailing the trims on with 15mm galvanised clout nails only. Once the trim is centralised and you're happy with the final position, put a temporary pin in the middle of the trim like this, and then recheck its final position. Hammer the nail squarely home, so it's not crooked and sits flush. Now it's a matter of working outwards from the centre fixing at a nail spacing of around 120 to 150 millimetres. Now we have the front trim fully fixed into its final location. The reason for working from the centre out and nailing so frequently is to stop expansion humps occurring in the trims especially on days where the sun may be in and out. If the sun is behind cloud and the trim is nailed, it will be contracted. But when the sun comes out and is hot like today, as you can see here, there's a slight hump in the trim caused by heat expansion. Now, this isn't a fault and it will not affect the final construction when laminated, but if you skimp on nails, the humps could be more pronounced and noticeable in the final job should the sum come out again later. You can also add PU adhesive to the trims if you wish, and we'll have a quick look at this in a moment. So, with the front trim securely fixed with clout nails, it's time for the rear wall fillet. I've already nailed this wall fillet into position, flush with the edges of the roof here and here. This trim is called the D260 wall fillet, and if I just swing the camera around for a moment, you will see it provides good cover onto the roof decking, allows expansion and contraction to occur over the 25mm gap we allowed earlier, and returns up the wall for a wall flashing at a later stage. Next, we'll move on to the side raised edge trims. On the left hand side, I will be fitting the B260 raised edge trim, as mentioned in the previous video. And here it is being offered into place. And the first thing I'm going to do is mark the angle for cutting closest to the rear fillet trim. By offering the trim into place, it can simply be marked with a pencil and cut, ready for a nice butt finish. Then the other side is simply trimmed to fit your roof. And when you're happy with the results, turn your attention to the other end near the drip trim. And then trim it up so it sits flush. As an alternative to just nailing, I'm going to stick this trim into place with PU adhesive or fix all. Mark a line on the roof deck so that you know the position of the trim when you remove it. 
Now apply a few dobs of PU adhesive about every 300 millimeters or so wherever the flange of the trim touches the surface of the decking. Next rub the trim firmly into place before fixing it finally with nails. To be honest I hardly ever bother applying PU to the decking when I'm working unless I'm single handed in which case it's very useful for holding the trims into place before you make the final fixing. With that side finished we now turn our attention to the last raised up stand trim and as you can see this time I'm working from the front of the roof backwards. This is just so I can overlap the trims in a flattering direction that will complement the natural fall of the roof. And to be honest I could have made this trim in one length without cutting it but I'm going to show you how to join a fiberglass trim so I've deliberately cut it short. It's cut at the front and fixed with just clamp nails this time. If we just swing the camera around for a second you can see the remaining gap in the trims a little bit clearer. Now I can cut and shape the trim near the wall fillet in the same manner as we did for the opposite side. Once we're happy with the result we can cut and trim it so it will overlap the other fixed raised edge trim by 50 millimeters or 2 inches. Now I'm adding a line of PU adhesive to waterproof the overlap of the joint. I've also placed a few dobs of PU onto the trim button just to show how the side face of the trims can be secured in this way. Generally the larger the trim size the more important this becomes to stop trim rattle in windy conditions. All I'm doing here is simply overlapping the trim and snapping it into position. Just make sure the overlapping trim is hooked underneath the bottom of the previous trim without obstruction. After pressing down firmly along the overlap joint it should now fit very neatly like this and then just nail it up. As you can see it's now nailed and overlaps the previous trim nicely. With the trims now complete for our project it's time to thoroughly sweep the roof decking of any debris or offcuts. But there is just one quick point to mention before ending the video. If the roof is to be accessed by for instance a window cleaner on a regular basis it may be a good idea to build in a ladder access point into your roof and it's very easy and quick to do. Cut a section of matching trim somewhere about one meter in length and fix it in the same manner as joining a trim with a line of PU adhesive at both overlapping edges. Obviously this is only a demo roof and it's at knee height so it doesn't need a ladder access point so I'll skip it on this occasion. Well that concludes this video on fitting roof trims and for a full list of trims click on any of the links provided here or in the description bar and I'll see you in the next video part 3 which covers cleaning, taping and laminating the bandages. See you there.